last question of the evening. Should the school board reflect the racial ethnic composition of our community? Should the school board reflect the racial ethnic composition of our community? Thank you. I think it's important that the school board reflect the diversity in, in Colleen. I think it's important that on the campus, that campus reflect the diversity of our community inside the classroom with classroom teachers and with building administrators. It's critically important to the success of the district. Yes, that's a great question. And yes, I think that the school board should reflect the ethnic diversity of the district, but I also think that we need to have the best people on the school board, no matter what race they are, what ethnic group they are. I think we have to have the, the best people on the district. And when I vote for somebody, I try to vote for the best person. I try not to look at the race, but I try to vote for the best person. And so for me, as a voter, you know, I look at the issues and I look at the, uh, you know, what they stand for, and I try to vote based on, you know, uh, their beliefs, uh, their integrity, and that, those kind of things. So I think, you know, to me, the most important thing is, is are, are the, the beliefs and the integrity of the, of the candidate. I do think it's important, but again, I don't think that it's a requirement. I think that basically I agree with him, that basically you should vote for the candidates based on if their values resonate with you, if they have the same ethics and principles as you do, if they see the same thing, the vision is the same as what you expect to see for school board members. And I don't think that it should be, I'm going to vote for someone based on the color of their skin. Again, it has to do a lot with the character and their vision for education, because we are here for education, and that needs to be the primary purpose. Diversity is an overused word. It's very overused. I would never vote for someone because of the race of who they are. I didn't have a, a black teacher until I was in the ninth grade. Race has nothing to do with teaching a child. It is the classroom teacher and the child and the parent's relationship. So when you vote for someone, don't vote for Broccoli because he's black or he's a veteran. Vote for Broccoli because he's going to get out there and bust his butt for your kids. I do believe that the board should reflect the racial diversity of the community. And I'll say why. Research shows that if you want to get across the boys, it's important that they have male figures that they can look up to. Research shows that you want, when you want to impact girls, that's important when we had the whole move for getting more girls involved in science and math, that it's important that they see role models who look like them so that they can better believe that this is possible for them. So while we don't judge anybody, we've worked very hard to get to that point, while we don't judge anybody by just their color or their race, I think that it's naive to say that it is not important or it does not play a role. And I think that as we educate this very diverse student population, that it does speak to them and it does speak to the students and it does speak to their parents and it does speak to the teachers we're trying to hire for them to see a board that is racially diverse as well. <laughs> 